going to review Pauly Shore is Dead. Now, if you don't know who Pauly Shore is, he's pretty much what you'd call a washed-up actor. He used to be a VJ on uh, MTV in the early 90s. He was on a few shows there, and he was really popular with teenagers and stuff. So he was the weasel and stuff. Just, you got to look him up to, like, his character was ridiculous. Like, he was this surfer guy, and he just had this stupid act where he did the weasel. If you've seen the Goof Troop movies, you probably rec wouldn't recognize his voice as... His, the guy who wears the sunglasses, the buzz cut, I don't even know what the guy's name is, but he does the voice in Goof Troop. And uh, he's he was he had some pretty popular movies too, like Son-in-Law. And uh, so, but then after those movies, he really started to be hated by people and he got really washed up. Like he had his own TV series, but didn't get picked up. It only lasted for about five episodes. And this movie came out in 2003. And uh, it, it's called Paul Shore's Dead because... It's awesome with this movie. Pauly Shore takes what happened in his life. He knows that he's a washed up actor. He took that and he turned it into a movie. So it just shows, it, in the movie, Pauly Shore is dead. It shows um, how his career slowly starts to diminish, slowly be, uh, becomes just a crap career. And it shows when he has his pilot and everyone hates it and everything. And so when, when he really comes to real, the realization that his career is just pretty much done, he fakes his own death to get become famous again really and uh it gets a lot of celebrities talking about it if you look at the front here on the cover and the back there are so many celebrities in this uh just name a few there's there's adam sandler uh, the hilton sisters chris rock charlie sheen tommy lee carrot top vince vaughn jerry springer all those people are in here and there's even more like a lot of people in the back mark mcgrath um jason muse Corey feldman uh what's his face the weird guy andy dick <laughs> okay so there's a lot of, a lot of celebrities in this and it just, it pretty much shows the reaction that the A-list stars had to Pauly Shore's death. And so then uh, he, his, and also on a side story, it has his number one fan who finds out that Pauly Shore, well, he thinks Pauly Shore died. And so he goes crazy and it's a nice little side story. But uh, I think, I'm not, I don't want to say anything else because I don't know if it's, if it's part of the plot or if it's, I, I don't know if it's something important that I wouldn't want to give away. So... It's not there, but it's really funny. Like, uh, it has Fred Durst in it, too. There's a lot of, lot of people in this. So you should definitely check this one out. It's it's really, really funny. I think Pauly Shore did a really good job with it. I think it's genius that he took his crappy career and put it into a movie. And although this movie doesn't have great, great reviews on the internet and stuff, I've heard a lot of people say they liked it, and some critics really liked it and thought it was a really good idea, and I think it really is, too. Like I said, it came out in 2003, so it's already seven years old, and Pauly Shore is, again, a washed-up actor. <laughs> But I, I actually don't mind him. I like Son-in-Law was a really good movie. I think I've seen a few other movies. I just don't know the names of them. But um, I really like his Weasel character. I think it's kind of funny. But definitely check this one out. It's a, it's a good movie to watch, and it's very funny. There's a lot, a lot of stars in it, like a lot. So check that one out.